and I'm back. Now I've actually gone around and I'm going to clarify right now, I'm going to say this all now before we enter this next room. To find the actual pieces, you need to search everywhere. Any areas that you've been to before, any times that you've ever solved one of those, you know, the name and where the item is, and you've got to try and find it. Search all of them because it's random every single time. The only one that's not random, actually, I'll show you right now, is this one. This one is never random. It's this is always one of them. But the other eight you need to find because you always pick up that one from earlier. But the other eight, random every single time. So you need to um, you need to keep searching. Look everywhere, anywhere that you've been before. Just search everywhere. So now we're just gonna finish this game up because uh, pretty much we're near the end. Woo! How cool is that? Didn't take long, did it? All we need to do is just place all the pieces that we found, and, um, well, enter, I guess. <laughs> That's not a way to put it. But here we go. <coughs> and doors open. Enjoy the cutscene. As you can tell, Charles isn't very happy with us when we're about to make his day a whole lot worse. Now this puzzle, oh, this puzzle is going to be so much fun. Right, so to start off, we need to actually, well, it says so on the side here, we need to try and get it from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way down to 17. Now you have to go back and forth through this entire puzzle, there's no easy way of doing so. I wish there was, but there really isn't. So what you need to do is just keep... You know, if you have to, go all the way to the other side, like this one. Because it won't flip any other way, it's going to have to go around like this. Get here. And then the middle bit never switches. It stays in the middle. The ones around it change. So there we go. Um, love forever love. Oh, please. So, now we need to... <laughs> now we need to move this one around. I've, what I've noticed the most about this is that it's always going from... Right, uh, you've got, always got to go the left way round. So, it does get a bit frustrating. Uh, I'm pretty sure if we do this, and nope, completely cut that up wrong way. No, this one you got to go right, sorry. Uh, it's random every time. But uh, I'm just going to show you this last puzzle because, well, we're near the end. After this, we're, um, we're done. Oh, yeah, if that happens, by the way, like you just saw, we have to do is just head back and flip it over again. Alright, now we need to try and get this one over there, so let's just move this around. There you go, and head back over, switch over again. And we need to get five. Five's down here, so if we flip that over there, flip that one over there, flip that one over there, over there, and it'll land there, so let's go get it. And that's pretty much. Oh! Fuck's sake, didn't want to do that. There we go. Two, one, two, one, two. You head backwards on the way you're gone, and uh, yeah. So pretty much that's how you solve this one. If you haven't figured it out yet, then I really can't help. Sorry, that's, that's just the easiest way I can explain it. Just follow the pattern. Let's see that there to there to there to there. Nope, it's got to go the other way. Um, I am tempted to give my, my opinion of this game now because, well. Might as well, but I'm thinking I'm definitely gonna wait till the end because it's you know there's some credits, there's a little bit of talking, but it's not really important. They're not like you know um, blah 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 blah. It's just general like it's outtakes really. That's the best way to describe it. So if you want me to keep that in, just let me know. And um, well, actually, <laughs> uh, you know I'm just gonna keep it in, 
can keep it in anyways just for the whole idea so you can see who did it, give them credit on it and uh, just enjoy what's happening really. Um, oh wait, what the fuck am I doing? That's fine. Okay, now we've got to switch these all back around and you're about to see what happens when you start to get very close to opening it soon, hopefully, and let's find out. Let's see that one to there, to there. Nope. This part is just very, very long and tedious. That's the problem with this one. You know, no matter how good you are at this game, it's just, this part is just so, oh, okay, okay, I get what I'm supposed to do. Thank you, you know. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I sneezed. Sorry. <laughs> okay, now I've got to switch everything back over again. And that's what you're pretty much doing. You're having to keep going, going back on yourself. It's really, uh, it's very frustrating. Let's see, that one to there, to there, to there. There to the yeah okay let's go cool. there to there to there that's right oh, see like I said this one is just tedious you know it's it's not difficult it's not challenging and once you get ten you reveal the heart of Charles so now we need to well, stop his heart. And to do so, it's quite brutal. <laughs> I mean, pretty much what we're doing right now is... I guess the best way to describe it is we're killing a man. Really. That's the only way you can describe it. We're killing someone. Okay, there we go. Oh, yep. <sighs> Again, there's no way to describe this part from it's just nothing but tedious, you know. Um, I, wish I, I, I wish I can go in more depth about what's happening right now, but it's just the same old thing, you know, just going around trying to solve the puzzle. As you tell, we're almost done. Actually, you'll see clearly of how close we are. And now head all the way back around. And there'll be uh, a final cutscene at the end. For your joy, hopefully. And now we need to do is move that one. Uh, oh, actually, now we do is just try and move 17 all the way around. Yep. Sorry, there isn't much I can say. It's just me moving a piece of 17 around. Oh, um, this ain't good. I haven't got a clue on how to do this one now. Oh wow, I thought it would be actually quite simple. It's, it's not, it's actually quite complex. Um, that one. Oh, okay, yeah, I get it now. Sorry, viewers. Okay. Now we go around with this one. Move to 16, back around. Oh, sorry, I lost it just then. I was like looking at it going, what have I done wrong? There you go. There we go. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17.
This was Return to Ravenhurst. Um, now my opinions, really. Just got to give a quick opinion while you watch these uh, interesting young ladies dance. So basically, my opinion on this game is it's really, really good. Very enjoyable. It's got a lot of, um, you know, it's got a lot of complicated puzzles. It really makes you think. And at the same time, it doesn't patronise you about it. If you get something right, it doesn't patronise you. It does wind you up, like, if you try and use a specific item somewhere that's wrong, it'll go, you're not even thinking about this, are you? So obviously it's purposely trying to wind you up, but it won't say it all the time, and it doesn't make you feel like you're an idiot if you get a puzzle wrong. If you go, oh, I don't know, I don't understand, how come I can't do that? Yeah, you feel a bit silly at first, but then when you think about it, you go, oh, okay, I can kind of see why I can solve that puzzle. It seems a bit difficult, but, uh, oh yeah. Yeah, as you can tell. You know, I think that's a real baby. I'm pretty sure that's a fake one, but oh well. But uh, again, uh, thank you for watching, uh, Big Fish Gamings games. Um, we did quite well actually. So. Uh, All right, take two, and it was pretty good actually. So. Oh, hang on. What's this? N E. Hmm. Okay, so I gotta say I really enjoyed this game. Uh, that's what I'm trying to get to. So I'm just trying to watch this. Cause it seems quite funny actually. I really enjoyed this, but unfortunately, I think it was a little too short. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's because I edited all the um, you know messing up out or whatever. But yeah, it wasn't as quick as I thought it would be, but I should tell, the credits are done, it's just this little, like, you know, video. <laughs> okay, I think he's trying to be as sick and disturbing as he can, but, <laughs> he's very struggling. Alright, so, um, I'm going to let these run, and see what happens, and, okay, here they are, just, having a bit of fun. So, please comment, rate, and leave a comment, um, yeah, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, I will be doing the other Ravenhurst as well. It's actually rather difficult to do. Uh, but I will do them. Uh, also, check out the forums and websites. Um, big thanks to Big Fish Game Studios. Well done, you created some really, really good games. This is the very first one out of all of them where they actually do this. Like, you know, real people, real cinematics and everything, you know. Behind the blind, uh, blind mice and they... Oh, well. um, okay, I'm going to stop it here because it's just doing the trailers and everything. Uh, if you want to watch trailers, watch it somewhere else. <laughs> Alright, so this has been um, Let's Play Return of Ravenhurst. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Until then, viewers, see ya.